Hey guys, it's Dr. Bacon. Hope everyone's doing pretty well. I was looking at some of my other plants this morning and I've got the end of an aphid infestation and I just always find it interesting when the insects get a hold of the plants and where they go and where they don't go and just a few aphids have found their way up onto this plant and right down here is a, one of my many actually they're my roommates milkweed plants and this thing's got these aphids are clearly not practicing social distancing and they've overtaken several of these flower pods I've sprayed them a bunch of times with neem oil and I'm just leaving them kind of run their course since they haven't seemed to get on other plants this thing I found on the street down the street I saw it there for a while and it was abandoned and then someone stole the pot off of it and then it looked really sad with no pot so I got it and it's coming back to life it was almost all purple when I found it hey so it's a watering day I'm not gonna feed the plants today I'm just gonna water them but I'll walk you around them um, I'm gonna skip a day of food some people go feed water feed water some people go feed feed water um, I've been wa I've been feeding my plants every single cycle and it really never hurts to just do a water um, it cleans out the salts. Some people say the salts, salts stay in the in, in the soil unless you flush, but it definitely recovers the plant and doesn't hurt it, especially at the beginning of flower to go a little water. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I'll walk you guys around and just show you how things are going. Um, thanks for the visit. The map's really fun, and uh, I really appreciate the participation. And I'm going to keep on that. Um, Hey, so let's let's look around. I recently bought a bigger container of this because I've gone through maybe four of those pH, small pH bottles, and I don't need a whole kit. Um, and it's really not that hard to use uh, to use the test kits. A lot of people ask me why I don't buy a meter. I've used them when I was in school and meters go, they go off and uh, unless you have something to, unless you calibrate it, if you dip it in dirt and salt every day, um, after a while, it, it won't, or even liquid uh, with um, things like silica in it, it, you really need to clean it after every use and at that point, it's really not that hard to <laughs> just do a quick, quick pH test. This is my filter water supply. I expect I will need a small pH adjustment, even though I'm not adding anything. Yeah, I do. So I know from experience it's about half a cap per two gallons. So I expect this is going to probably still be a little shy, but I don't want to go past. It will be there or it will be slightly shy. For you guys so you can see that's what I'm looking for that's my tennis ball color and that's sufficient we're up in the Barbie house um, that looks just where I want to see it for watering and I'm looking at things like my stem now see some uh, discoloration on this stem Also looking for things like gnats. Um, these are my flower sites. They look good. Looking at these. It's easy to think that's a, a hermy, but it's not. It's just a flower site. Hi. 
not that many grows ago I went and I I picked all of those off the plant. <laughs> the plant survived, but <laughs> I definitely picked all the female little bud sites off the bottom. But yeah, they do kind of look. The one way to tell is the the if they are pollen pods, they're shinier. If they have little hairs on them, they're usually flowers. Let's look over here. This is my jackaloo. It looks okay. It needs a little more support on the top for sure. On these, this isn't doing anything. Oh, that's better. Could use some more support, but could really use a bigger stake. I think I'm just going to leave. Yeah, this needs a stake badly. Maybe I'll break down and spend a few more bucks. I buy some more steaks at Ace at five bucks a pop. Brutal. All right, well, all is well up here. They're going to just get a, a pure water and be happy. That's kind of a picture for scale without me crawling up on the roof. I've been trying to beat down some light pollution. The neighbors have some disco circus lights that run every night on a timer. Those are the lights. And I'm worried about hermiang, the stuff that gets exposed to the lights at night. I just need to keep a close eye on what's going on up here. The stuff that Past. These leaves are so leathery and that is from using this silica blast and I think I'm done with the silica blast. It's they really are leathery. Oh, there's a little moth flying around. I gotta start spraying too. Another moth. I might spray right now. I'm taking advantage of this situation, which is no wind, breaking clouds, um, and uh, and no sun right now. So I I don't you don't want to ever spray your plants when there's when the sun is out. But I also don't want to spray my plants and have them sit in water all day because it's been super overcast. So I've made a batch of my caterpillar killer BT. Um, you really don't want to get it on you, kind of stings. So I'm gonna um, just move the ladder a little further away. It would also be better if I watered the plants first so I don't get it dripping on me, but I want to do this quickly before the clouds break. So I'm gonna move the ladder a little further away and give these girls a quick spray for caterpillars. First spray of the season. I see some moths taking off, so I got a good feeling there. Yeah, there's moths everywhere. Look at all these critters taking off. Yeah. Look up there, there's some big massive nest. I need to go up there and handle that. I can see there's an encampment set up there. Damn it. <laughs> or at least I found it. Yeah, it's Camp Moss. Look at that. Massive nest of a mess. I'm going to have to dig it apart without my camera. Or I'll fall off this ladder. But see that? That's moss in action. They got two sets of camps here. That's what I found. There's two right there. I 
This is Dumbo. So this is one of the lineage of the super cropped jackal lemons that were all made back in December. And my friend Suzanne repotted it. She was really rough with it. I guess it liked it. I've never had fan leaves this big on a plant. They're just literally Some of them are seven inches long, eight inches long. This one's gotta be eight inches long. Flower sites look good. No critters up here. I gave a quick spray. This is a uh, AK-47 and it's also look fine. So these two will get watered. Looks like I have a hole in my net. Hey guys, I'm going to sign off. Uh, thanks for your interest and, uh, and your comments and everything. So uh, have a great day. Um, like and subscribe if this makes you happy and I'll be back soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.